guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be decorating the interior of this supermarket I made. Um, this supermarket actually took me a while to make because this decal, oh my gosh, took me so long to actually match the colour. Like the green, you see that green and that green. But I finally did it and it looks perfect. Um, so yeah, this supermarket, um, I don't know, I was just bored and I thought, why not make a supermarket? So I did. But anyway, so basically I have all of like the fruit and stuff that I stole from BFF supermarket um and I'm gonna just stock them in there I already have like the layout planned in the supermarket so yeah also I have a wall with a bunch of decals on um I found all these on Pinterest um I, I don't know every single one of these decal codes so just search food packages in on, on Pinterest and then you can find the decals um I found loads, I didn't put all of them on because like too much obviously, um, so yeah. Okay, so this is like the layout I have so far. So basically, there we have two entrances, one there and one here. So the first entrance basically just leads into you to like different aisles and shelves. And these are like freezer sections. Um, do they look like freezers? I don't know, they kind of do, but they look fine to me. And then this area is basically going to be where all the meat is going to be. I don't know what supermarket has this much meat, but this one does. So yeah. And these two little stems are probably going to have like cheese and fish on it or maybe. I don't know, but there's going to be something on there. And then another shelf. And these are going to be where all the fruits will go. They are actually kind of too close together. There we go. That is better. And then over here is basically where there's going to be more shelves and then like the checkout area i want to do like a self checkout area and plus the normal one so yeah and also this is like two stories but we're just going to have like a large ceiling it is actually very dark in here i should probably fix the lighting before i do anything else okay so the lighting is fixed um the roof uh is a bit messy because of all the flat roofs i made on top of here um but i need to find a way to cover that up i might just use like vents you know these things these thingies um what are they called duct work but yeah sometimes there's just a bunch of random stuff on the ceilings in supermarkets i don't know what they're for but they're just there um i guess is to actually keep the building alive I guess but anyway I'm just gonna randomly add these all over the place and then I will be right back okay we have all the air vents in now we can breathe um but yeah now I just need to like stock up oh we need a floor first oh, there we go okay so now I just need to like stock up everything so um the walls are looking very plain right now but I will add some stuff I don't know what stuff but I'll try not to make it look as plain. Um, but I'm gonna stock up probably the shelves first because it's just easier. All I need to do is put the decal on a basic shape and then just copy paste it all over the place. So I'm gonna quickly do that on this one and then I'll be right back. I have finally finished stocking up all the shelves. That took way longer than I thought it would. And um, after doing two, I copy pasted all of them, which is kind of why they look a bit similar. They look a lot similar, actually, but you know what? It's fine. Nobody's going to notice apart from everyone. But anyway, um, so now I just need to like do the freezer part. What goes in a freezer? Milk and ice cream. I can put ice cream, uh, but I need to find decals. Oh my gosh, how to find decals? It took me so long to find all, all the other decals, um, so, well, I guess I have to do that again, so, yeah. Okay, so I finally finished stocking this up, and I also added a few windows everywhere. Um, I also added some over here, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, now, oh wait, there's some decals over here. Wait, no, I need those. Okay, so now I guess we can start on the meat area. So for the meat area, I might just like use pillows because we do not have meat in Bloxburg. Um, 
for some reasons. Uh, and um, now I just need to find like a good texture and color. Um, ooh, that looks like me. Okay. Okay, so um, I don't know why I left off the last time. But I'm pretty sure I just finished doing off the, um, doing off, finishing off the meat section. And, uh, yeah, I don't like this area at all because, um, I don't know, me and this meat, we just have beef. You know? Yeah. I ignore that joke. Anyway, um, so we have to do the fruit and veggie section and oh yeah i also did like the cheese section thing um i don't know if shops have those but um i like cheese so yeah so basically i got the cheese platter from the quick meal and um these are just boxes that kind of look like cheese and these are like the napkins but the actual napkins remind me of like the cheese slices so um i don't know who keeps cheese slices like that but somebody does um me i guess um but yeah this other one is pretty much the same thing and these are like the cheese things from the quick meal i don't know what they're called but they're cheese so yeah and also i got a few things from the fridge um by a few i mean a lot um yeah uh it took me a while to make all these food but I did it, and all these chicken nuggets and stuff, they are going to be like, I want to make a section where there's already food that you can take and you don't need to cook it, basically. And now we need to do the fruit thing. I already have all the fruit laid out over here. It Oh, I have these to lay out as well, the, the crisp. I don't know where I'm supposed to put these, because I already stocked all the shelves. So, um... Uh, I think we I think I'm just gonna have a lot of a lot of crisps in my fridge if I don't use them so I guess I'm gonna have to find a way a place to put them I guess um so yeah let's do the bigger ones first because I feel like if the more space taken the easier it would be for me to actually put everything on so I want to put the watermelons on the top over here like this. It doesn't have to be clean. It can be messy because like people touch touch these things. So like they move it around a lot to find the perfect one. Um, to me, they're all the same. So uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, Bloxburg should add avocados because like that would be so cool. Oh, we don't have it. <laughs> we don't have enough. Okay. Um, maybe if I just take the one from the middle here and then there we go. I'll put something in the middle to make it look like this. it's full. There we go. Okay, so now let's do the oranges. I don't like oranges. I despise them. They're very rude to me. They are... I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like the actual... You know, the white things? I don't like it at all. I like the juice. I just don't like the actual fruit. We have one more banana. Uh, banana. I mean, orange left. So, we kill it. Goodbye. Okay. So, let's do the bananas now. Um, should I put these in like baskets? Because I feel like they are too exposed. <laughs> um, but I think it's fine. It'll be fine. You know, mm, maybe I should actually. Uh, we have those mesh things. And after many bananas later, we have added the bananas. We only have three boxes, but it's okay that's all we had so now we're gonna add the apples i don't like apples either i don't like fruit okay i fruit they're not really my friends you know they what we, what's over there pears pears okay i haven't had pears in ages actually i haven't had fruit in ages i mean i like bananas and watermelons i don't like anything else um <laughs> but anyway. there we go the pears okay wait do i have okay so this one is done basically um I, but i want to put more on there but i don't know how i mean i guess i can put some apples where the watermelons are but i feel like that's a bit random <laughs> that looks so weird okay maybe for this one i'll put the apples on top here because that's really the only space left 
for the apples sorry apples but you are on top of every other fruit even though i don't like you so you're welcome oh also i might do a bakery area because the the place i go there's bakeries and i like the cookies a lot um but i don't want to make cookies in blocksburg right now so i'm just gonna put a bunch of bread because that's what i made and i kind of forgot about the cookies so uh yeah that's what we're gonna do there we go the fruits are all done finally why did that take so long wait but there's still some gaps i'll just fill them in with pears but now i want to make that food to go thing like this um i can put it on this wall right here so let me just steal a shelf please let's just steal this one Oh, I have to delete all these. This is actually pretty laggy because of all the decals. Why is it so dark in this corner? Hello, light. There we go. Okay, so deleting time. Okay, after years of deleting stuff, it's empty. Okay, so is there a gap between... Okay. Okay, so now I just need to fill it up with stuff. But I want like the bottom shelf to be like... Um, I don't know how to explain it, but I'll show you. Okay, so basically like that. But I need to like <coughs> fill it up with food and then put glass on it. Like, not glass, but like a clear basic shape like I did over here. Um, so... Oh, these are like frozen, frozen food thingies from the thing. What's it called? Um, quick, quick meals. Like, I'm going to put the fruit, the nuggets and the corn dogs. Are those corn dogs? Yeah. And there we go. Now I have doors and you can just slide it open. Uh, because you need to, you need a way to actually access these. But we cannot actually. So, um, yeah. But oh, wait, I have all these to cover now. Um, what what can I what can I cover it with? I mean, we still have some fruit we can use. Um, I love I love it so much. I'm so glad I finally finished it. So there are two entrances. Oh, I forgot to make the carts. But they are expensive and I want to save my money. Um, so this is basically the area where they keep the carts. Um, but there are no carts because I, I don't want to make them. So yeah, oh there's a stray decal right there. It's okay. So there's two entrances, one here and one here. But I feel that's the main entrance. This is like the other entrance. Uh, so, oh wait, I don't need to do that. It's a sensor. Okay. So when you first walk in, you see these two things, which look exactly the same, but we're going to ignore that. Um, and then we have these aisles over here. And then we have a freezer back here. Why is it so dark back here? I need to fix that. Okay. Anyway, we have a freezer back here with milk and frozen fruits, ice cream, pasta. Pasta does not... Why did I say it like that? Pasta. Well, it doesn't belong here, but it's it's here so um yeah it's all the same oh what is it cheese it's i don't think they belong here either no okay it's you know it's fine and also all these shells look, look how nice they are look at the decals i love it so look how nice this is to walk past this okay and this is the meat section which i don't really like because it looks so plain like i said before we have beef uh if you get the pun you get the pun anyway so um yeah, more shelves that look exactly the same. Um, so yeah, and also the fruit area. I should put a decal like I did over there. Right there by the bakery. I should do one right here, but bigger. And then we have this empty area. Yay. And we have more freezer shelf things. And the tills and the bakery section. I wish I could make this bigger, but this is all the space I had to deal with. And our windows back here. And I care about what the back looks like. Uh, what does the back look like anyway? I can't even get to the back. What does it look like? Hello? Oh, the back. Okay, maybe it doesn't look that great, but these two pillars are floating in the air. Okay, never mind. It's fine. So, yeah, this, this area is a lot, it's really plain, but I feel like over time, I will probably fill it up. Hopefully, I do, because sometimes I just forget about some builds, but I will not forget about this one. This is probably the best 
shop I've ever made, like the store. Um, like I've made cafes, bakeries, but this one probably has been the best because it's the most realistic out of all of them. Because like I never build with such bright colors like this, but I was kind of forced to do that now because like it's a it's a shop and like I I can't do anything about it unless I tell all the brands to change their packaging just for the aesthetic of the shop. But um, yeah. Anyway, so oh wait, there's there's a problem here so i'll fix it later and they have a huge parking out here which i did not show at the start but pretty big pretty big and also comment down below what other shops you want, you want me to make um i will make any shop <laughs> i just i just need to you know do it okay um anyway so that's pretty much all for this video i hope you enjoyed it and uh, like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time bye